Isolite and Serac, what a fabulous device Isolite is when you're utilizing it when you're doing Serac restorations. Besides all the usual advantages that you get with a normal Isolite procedure such as retraction, aspiration, isolation, and lighting, you also get the added advantage of powder when you're imaging being sucked into the Isolite instead of a big plume going out into the mouth. We're going to demonstrate Isolite through an entire Serac procedure from beginning powdering and imaging all the way to end through cementation and you can see just how advantageous Isolite is throughout the entire CERAC procedure. Here we go. Notice the first thing I do is lubricate the lips with Vaseline. The back end of the Isolite mouthpiece is already moistened so this is just going to slip right into place and as you can see about three seconds we're ready to go. And now as we start the preparation it is now 8 16 and 36 seconds once again, we are utilizing retraction for camera purposes of this plastic instrument, and I'm utilizing the ice light head as the fourth finger rest for my hand. Now this is very, very important that you notice this. Close down for me, Marsha. Have your patients closed down so that nothing goes down your throat, but we can look and we can see all the porcelain that's fractured up here, the porcelain chips. And if I was to pop this crown off right here, Sometimes they're a little hard and they go flying and you can see where this went flying. It's just not going down the throat so her throat is totally protected. Now what we do at this point in time, we remove the crown, pop it out, and now my assistant will go back in there with her additional HPE suction and vacuum everything up with little tiny particles. And see it's all nice and clean and we've got a great clean working field. Notice a wonderful thing is I don't have to worry about the tongue. I'm concentrating entirely on my preparation. I'd like you to notice that my assistant does not have to be chained to the chair to retract and aspirate, although she is retracting the cheek for camera purposes only. You know, she can stay one step ahead of me, allowing the procedure to go that much faster. This is one of the huge benefits of the Isolite. I don't need these cotton rolls down here other than for the camera for visibility. So if I was busy right now, and let's say we had an emergency something happening in the other room, I could actually leave the room right now while my assistant is, is placing the retraction cord. I've been at this procedure for about 14 minutes now, which is longer than it usually takes us for this procedure. But this is due to the camera positioning and shooting the video in our office it would take us about half this amount of time. I am now taking the antagonist bite for the Serac. Good. Now we put the ice light in. Open with skin wide. And bite down for me. Good. Make sure that everything is dry. Light powdering. I'm imaging the quadrant. If I was in the other room and had an emergency, my assistant could also take my antagonistic impressions. Okay, now we're moving the antagonist. Put the ice light back in. Now we're going to wash all the powder off. We'll remove the retraction cord and evaluate if our margins are all there. You can see all of our margins perfectly with powdering. The total lab time for milling, polishing, staining, and glazing is going to be about 30 minutes and we've not included that in our elapsed timer. Okay, we finished uh, custom staining and glazing the Serac crown and we're ready to cement this at this point in time. It's taken us about <clears throat> half an hour to complete that procedure. Now we're going to go ahead and insert the crown and cement, and cement it and bond it into place. I'm going to initially demonstrate doing this with cotton roll and dry angle isolation. I'm not going to cement that way because I don't get as good a moisture control, but I just want you to visualize the difference about the steps of what I have to do and the amount of products that I have mm -hmm. to use and the difficulties I'm going to encounter when we uh, get ready to cement our bond. So here we go. Let's get back into her mouth. Now you can even see at this point in time, if we can really zoom in close, 
how the cotton roll really, unless I hold it down into place, is going to have a tendency to roll up over the preparation in the buckle area. And Marsha, if you can turn towards the camera here a little bit more, right down here, the cotton roll will have a tendency to roll up onto the buckle area. And I've got to always be fighting that to holding it down. I just don't want to have to do that. And then for me to go through all the bonding steps and have to fight this to hold this down, what a pain in the neck this is going to be. Secondarily speaking, I've got to worry about the tongue coming up. I've got to worry about saliva volcanoing up from the floor of the mouth or dripping down from the upper cheek area. In fact, I probably even put another cotton roll in the upper cheek just to get this up and out of the way so I can get better visibility in here. So let me pop that there. That just that, that's, that's a mouthful, that's just a, but that's the way we're used to doing it, but that's a real mouthful. And so I'm not going to do that. Let's take this out. One cotton roll, two cotton rolls, three cotton rolls. You know what? Let's do this the easy way. Let's use the isolite. Place the isolite in the mouth. Close down gently for me. And isolation is achieved in about three seconds. Total patient share time has been about 25 minutes not including the 30 minutes in the lab. Let's dry things off. Look how dry everything is. Let's bond it. 10 second light cue. Once again, I'd like you to notice that my assistant is free to stay one step ahead of me and make the procedure go that much faster. She doesn't have to retract or aspirate. She can be here mixing the cement, loading the crown, and handing it to me. Color looks good, let's take this out. And that's a Cerac with Isolite. Total chair time, a little over 30 minutes. Total lab time, about 30 minutes. Total time, about an hour altogether. I'll take that to the bank every day.